One of the most memorable stories about him involves him pulling out his genitalia at a Hollywood party and playing a piano solo of You Are My Sunshine with it. <laughs> bro was drunk drunk bro but still that just lets you know what alcohol do to a human being bro you just start doing some nut shit bro yeah, that's why i don't like drinking alcohol bro weed is good for me howdy my name is cloudy welcome back to the channel you know what i'm saying today we got a video from vintage tv check out my last video if you haven't seen it already you know what i'm saying leave a like comment subscribe and all that if you enjoy your time in cloudyville you know today this video right here that you're about to be watching. It's called 10 More Golden Age Scandals Hollywood Wants You to Forget. We all know Hollywood is a... Uh, as much as people want to be in Hollywood, just like me, you know what I'm saying? It's a scandalous place for real. You, it's a scandalous place, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to really, gotta really hold on to your roots if you don't want to change into something... You don't want to be, you know what I'm saying, type of stuff. You know what I mean? So, if the deal don't look right, don't sign it. You know what I'm saying? And scandal. Oh, damn. Despite the lack of social media and 24 hours. Despite the. Damn, I shit tripping. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? If it if it don't feel right, you know what I'm saying? If the, if the, if the contract don't look right, don't sign it. You know what I'm saying? Be safe. Despite the lack of social media and 24-hour news coverage, the celebrities of Hollywood's the golden the age is good, no you know what I'm saying? Read the whole contract. Drama and mm -hmm. scandals. From the steamy love affairs of Hollywood's elite to because the mysterious deaths that left that the contract, reeling. bro. I know it's early down pause, but that contract, bro. I'm telling you, bro, that contract can have some stuff in it that say like in two years, <coughs> two years, your last name gotta be this per this 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 dude's last name because he owns you now you know what i'm saying but you didn't know that was in the contract because you only read the first page bro read the whole thing or get a lawyer to read the whole or whoever you know to read the whole thing bro you know what i'm saying because you don't you don't know what you can do because there's things in a contract right which is surprising which i didn't know until i read my own contract for like work and all that stuff Bro, there's things that people never knew they could do without getting in trouble. Because, you know, there's loopholes to everything, you feel me? You might even find a loophole in yours where it gets you extra money. You know what I'm saying? Something that you could probably sue them for. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you really got to read it, bro. It's it's loops and everything, bro. That's just how These the world is. It's loops and everything. Amazed and astounded. People who make Here it are the ones who find biggest. the loops. Golden you know? Age scandals Hollywood wants you to forget. Number 10. Fatty Arbuckle and Virginia Rappe death. Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle is. was a hugely popular star during the early days of silent film. He starred in many successful movies, including Miss Fatty's Seaside Lovers and The Baggage Bro, Smasher, imagine and was adored watching the by silent audiences film. across the United States. However, his fame and fortune were tragically cut short one fateful evening in 1921. On that night, Arbuckle hosted a wild party at a hotel complete with bootlegged alcohol and rowdy guests. One of those guests was Virginia Rappe, a young actress who was aspiring to make a name for herself in Hollywood. During the party, Rappe became gravely ill and was rushed to a hospital. It's the fact that his name, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even think there was another way you can say that word, but Rappe, you know? um, Bro, they said, Here's the red flags that I've noticed. I don't know if you noticed them. Party. Bunch of people. Drunk. That's that's already... Bro, that's the remedy to disaster. You know what I'm saying? She I already know this is going to die. Later, leaving everyone stunned and devastated. The official cause of Rappe's death was peritonitis, a serious inflammation of the abdomen that is often caused by a ruptured bladder. However, Damn. rumors began to fly that Arbuckle was responsible for her death. These rumors were largely spread by Bambina Maud Delmont, a friend of Rappé. I mean, he was drunk, you know what I'm saying, partying and stuff. We all know how people get when they get drunk, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no telling how strong the alcohol was back then. Some tell me the alcohol back then was a lot stronger than what we have now. Because I feel like what we have now, it got all these extra flavors and stuff. 
You get alcohol that tastes like bananas, you know what I'm saying? I don't even think they had that type of stuff back in the day. You had a reputation for extortion and Especially because surgery Hollywood really circles. wasn't surgery really wasn't a thing, you know what I'm saying? So they had to use that was probably like medieval times. I'm probably like thinking way back. Bam, never mind. Delmont claimed that Arbuckle had raped Rappe and caused her fatal injuries. Wow. Arbuckle was arrested and wow, charged with her, manslaughter, man. and the press eagerly jumped on the story. They ran sensational headlines. What was he famous for? Arbuckle of heinous crimes, including violating Rappe with a Coke bottle and causing her bladder to rupture with his massive girth. The newspapers printed lurid details and speculation, often with. We're just gonna skip over that part. RP to uh to the lady, man. Like people like man, people like this need to go underneath the planet. You know what I'm saying? These are the people aliens should be taking. You know what I'm saying? These are the people they should be experimenting on. You know what I mean? Y'all heard you, bro. R. P. Darman. Without any basis in fact, That's and the up. public quickly turned against Arbuckle. Arbuckle endured three trials before being cleared of the charges against him. He was cleared of the charges. But the damage had already been done to his career and reputation. Despite being allowed to return to the movie industry, Arbuckle struggled to regain was... his good name and find work in Hollywood. The scandal had tarnished his reputation so severely that even after the ban was lifted, he was largely avoided by producers and studios. Wait, so was it a lie? Because if this wasn't a lie, bro, how did he... What? It had to have been a lie, right? That's why he got out, right? Despite Arbuckle's eventual acquittal, his career was effectively over. He was blacklisted by Hollywood and struggled to find work in the years that followed. The Rappé scandal cast a dark shadow over his life, and if he this died in true, obscurity in 1933. This is messed up. Shout out to Johnny Depp too, man. I heard he just got his one million. He sent all that money that he got from uh, Amber Heard. He sent all that money to charity, man. I always knew John Depp, bro. John Depp never seemed like the type, but you know, at the same time, you never know. But it was just too inconsistent. I watched that whole trial, bro. I watched it. If y'all, if y'all ain't go uh, check, check out Asmin Gold TV, man. If you seen this video, you gotta do more stuff like that. If you find, you gotta do more videos because those are probably your best videos. I ain't gonna lie, and I ain't gonna lie, I ain't watch all your videos, but. I was on those when the trial came up. I was watching your videos all the time, bro. But I watched that whole trial. And it was too it was too much inconsistency you know what i'm saying i'm glad we got on we it was recorded because everybody in the public got to see that it was blankly a lie you know what i'm saying but oh boy right here if it was a lie and he didn't do it he has no like i don't even think they had cameras and stuff back then or if they did i don't even think they knew how to make well they made movies and stuff so obviously they had I don't know if they recorded this though. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they recorded his trial because it was 1933. It probably like somebody probably spilled coffee on it or something like that. But you know, like if he didn't, if he didn't do it, that's messed up. That his life is over because that's basically what Johnny Depp kind of went. This is basically the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, Amber Heard didn't die. You know what I'm saying? But he's being accused. Pretty much for the same exact thing Johnny Depp was being accused of. His might be a little bit worse, but Johnny Depp and him kind of had the same accusations thrown at him. But, you know, Amber Heard's lie. So we get we got to hear her sit up there on trial and, and lie. You know what I'm saying? And him, unfortunately, he has the girl. The girl is not alive, so she can't say he did or didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? It's all just speculation. Unless they prove he did it. Then bros a buster, but Errol if he didn't Flynn do it. And the statutory up. rape trial. Errol bro, how many was of these the ultimate Hollywood type of trials is way it, bro? before the days of George Clooney and Brad Pitt. They call bro With his heart striking throb. good looks and undeniable charm, it's no wonder he had the ladies swooning left and right. But while he was famous for his on screen heroics, his off screen antics were equally legendary. So these are all movie stars? The man had a reputation for womanizing that was as big as his box office hits. 
In addition to being married three times and having rumored affairs with Hollywood stars Marlene Dietrich, Carol Lombard, and Tyrone Power, Carol man. Flynn was known for creating outrageous rumors. One of the most memorable stories about him involves him pulling out his genitalia at a Hollywood party and playing a piano solo of You Are My Sunshine with it. <laughs> bro is drunk drunk bro but still that just lets you know what alcohol do to a human being bro you just start doing some nut shit bro this that's why i don't like drinking alcohol to have bro weed is good for relationships me. with underage girls despite his immense oh, popularity what? and the with it despite all of this flynn also managed to have inappropriate relationships with underage girls despite his immense popularity and the mostly female jury swooning over him Errol Flynn's reputation as a suave and dashing on-screen swashbuckler was seriously tarnished when he was accused of statutory rape in 1942. The highly publicized trial created a massive scandal, and although he was eventually found not guilty, the allegations of his predatory behavior towards young girls left a lasting impact on his public image. Ironically, the phrase, in like Flynn, that was used to describe one's sexual prowess was coined in reference to his womanizing ways, but now carries a disturbing connotation given his preference for underage girls. Number 8. Ingrid Bergman's How are these illegitimate baby. Bro, the... Uh... E. Ingrid Bergman, the acclaimed Swedish actress known for her iconic roles in Casablanca and Joan of Arc, caused quite a stir when she fell in love with the Italian director Roberto Rossellini on the set of their That sounds like a Strong mobster Oli. name, bro. Despite both being <coughs> married, they couldn't resist <coughs> each other, and their affair <coughs> resulted in Bergman becoming president. <coughs> but this scandal news <coughs> wasn't well received by the public, and Bergman's previously flawless reputation was shattered. Damn. Fact, <coughs> censorship boards and religious organizations went See, this is why girls shouldn't be doing what they doing man y'all y'all get y'all get the the boatload of the heat bro that's just the world the way the world is bro guys get praised for having a lot of partners females don't you know what i'm saying but see look li listen to me ladies but the loophole to that is females get men a lot easier which means they can find partners a lot easier they can find love easier we it's hard for us to find a girl, which is probably why it's like, you know what I'm saying? Since it's so hard for us to get it, when we do get it and we get a lot, it's like, yo, this dude got to be, that's the, that's him. He him. You know what I'm saying? And then for a girl, it's like, well, it's so easy for you to get somebody. It should be easier for you to find love, I guess, is what, I mean, technically, if it's, okay, if you have more partners to choose from, it's a lot easier for you to find love because there's so many people out there that you could talk to that want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? For a guy, it's a little hard because not many people want to talk to a guy. Not many people trust men. You know what I'm saying? Female, men don't trust men. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's the that's why it is the way it is. You feel me? Like, unfortunately, but y'all see right here, bro. She, she had an affair even though she was married and she took the heat for it. Oh, boy, didn't. It's the way the world is, man. Would y'all gonna fight planet? You know what I'm saying? What the hell? So far as to demand a boy, you better to find films. you a man and, and even tie yourself down with the, host the one Sullivan that really show you love. To you have her on a show. I ain't what? saying sit there and deal with the cheating, but it's understandable if you deal with the cheating. If the man, because okay, look, if the guy is treating you really good, right? He's taking you out. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you never have to walk up a single step of your house. You know what I'm saying? putting shoes on, you know what I'm saying, feeding you, really treating you really good to where you like, bro, I really love this nigga. But then he cheats, you know what I'm saying? But he cheats with a woman, like, you know, he just have, he just do a little thank you thing with him, and then he just come back home. If you stay with him, it's a little understandable why you would stay with him. But if he if he treats you bad, you know what I'm saying, and he cheat on you, leave him. But if he treats you really good, and he cheat on you, but it's not, the type of cheating he doing is not like, Oh, I got a whole nother girlfriend. No, it's just like it's just it's just sex. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And he he don't he don't try to be you know you know what I'm saying. He don't try to be cool with her. Or nothing. It's just he just got his nut off. You know what I'm saying? That's it. And if God damn, I keep dropping my lighter, bro. If that's how it is, and he come back home, he treat you well, bro. It's understandable why you would stay with him. But don't stay with him if he treat you bad. 
or don't stay with him if he really have a whole nother girlfriend. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not, that's not it. You know what I'm saying? That's politician, just not it. Senator Edwin C. Johnson went as far as to vilify Bergman as a, quote, powerful influence for evil, and Rosalini as a, quote, common love thief. After the scandalous affair with Rosalini and the public backlash, Ingrid Bergman sought refuge in Italy, where she gave birth to her son Renato, and eventually she had a married son with Rosalini him too? once they both finalized their divorce. She married, bro, too. Despite their eventual divorce in 1957. <laughs> ah, she stole, bro, bro. How, bro? That's crazy, bro. She got bashed for doing what she did, and then at the end, bro, she's the one who ended up marrying him. And they both left a significant others, bro. They both dropped. The oh boy. Got a divorce, bro. You know how much money he got to pay his girl, bro? He must really love his girl. If he just, man, bro got to pay so much money to the other female. He might as well keep her as a girlfriend, too. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't get divorces. It's like, why get a divorce? Because when you get with another girl, you're going to still have to pay for the other girl, right? Just like she's your girlfriend. Like, is it? Because, bro, that's funny, bro. They bastard her and she ended up getting with him anyway. <laughs> hey, look like she got the happy ending, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's funny, bro. That's funny. Bergman's career, she made a triumphant return to Hollywood in the mid 1950s with her role. And she came back with a role, bro. Bro, that's funny. That's actually funny. That actually kind of goes against everything I said a little bit. The film showcased Bergman's exceptional acting talent and earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress, which some saw as Hollywood's way of making amends for their previous treatment of the actress. It seems that even amidst the drama and controversy, Bergman's undeniable talent and charisma shone through, solidifying her status as a Hollywood icon. Number 7 Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Old girl might be the reason why you know what I'm saying? This empowerment movie gonna keep going. Cause, bro, I, after everything I just said, bro, she still ended up with, bro. And she got, bro, to get a divorce and marry her and had a son with, bro. That's, that is funny, bro. I can't even lie, bro. I did not expect that, bro. I did not expect, I thought bro's gonna go right back to his own wife. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna go back to her husband or maybe get, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That is funny, bro. If y'all made it this far, females, man, the females in Cloudyville, you know what I'm saying? Don't do what she did, you feel me? Don't do what she did. That's kind of messed up. Well, honestly, it's not messed up now that I think about it because he did leave his other wife and got with her. So at the end of it all, he still is a good man because he didn't he didn't keep his other wife. He was like, nah, I really don't want you no more. I really just want her. So I, I ain't gonna lie. Then it might be cool, you feel me? If that's the one for you, that's the one for you. You know what I'm saying? It damn that's crazy bro and the crazy part is relationships really happen that way sometimes one person or the other person got a partner you know what i'm saying but they still talk to the person that single you know what i'm saying they end up liking that person that's single more you know what i'm saying they end up leaving their other significant other after a little while you know what i'm saying and end up just being with them and never cheating on that person because they really like that person you because sometimes people will get together and think they a match you know what i'm saying because they got a lot of good stuff going on you feel me but then they find somebody else that they feel like is really more of a match it's probably gonna happen to you too in the future that's the cold part about it because it might the cycle might just keep going on you're gonna probably feel like okay yeah she is for me and then you're like nah never mind i'm just leave i'm gonna leave and go with this girl even though she just left her Bro, it's going to be a never ending. So I feel like it's karma at the end of the day, bro. If you get with somebody that got, that had a man, if you get with somebody and make them leave somebody, I feel like it's going to happen to you. Like the karma is going to keep flipping back. For some reason, I don't know why that's karma. That's like really part of life. But it's really like if you feel like, you know, just break up with them. Don't do nothing with them until you break up with that person. At least, you know what I'm saying? If you do like a person, right? Don't do nothing with that person you like until you break up with the person you already with. Because that karma is going to keep flipping back on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm telling you now. It's going to keep flipping back on you. I'm telling you. Listen to your boy, Cloudy, man. I'm not staring you in the wrong way. I might... I, I ain't going to... I might, you know, get you in the crash. You know what I'm saying? But we still going to be going the same way. You feel me? You might get hit a little bump on the road. Or, you know, you might... Your car might flip or something like that, but we still gonna be going the same way. You know what I'm saying? We still going down that path. You feel me? So, yeah, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this one, man. I will put a part two out if y'all enjoy this one, cause 
these scandals is crazy. I ain't gonna lie, but it seems like these scandals are a bunch of like, like marriage, marriage couple type things or something like that. You feel me? So if y'all want more, man, let me know. You feel me? And uh, I'll bring it to y'all, man. Love y'all. Have y'all a good day. You feel me?